Hello, my name is Elvis Karen and welcome back. Let's get started right now. I want to say thank you for taking a few minutes to watch my marketing videos and I hope the information you're about to hear helps you start, grow, or turn around your business ideas as quickly as possible. There's three videos here. The one you're watching right now, video number one, is packed with the beginner stuff that you need to know if you're a complete newbie with no website yet. Things like domain names, hosting, having a blog, using free website building templates, setting up email and whatnot. So right now, let's go over the beginner stuff. The first step is that you need a website, also called a domain name, like this one, www.competitionless.com. Your domain name is simply the name of your website. That way, people can go and see your information about your products and services. The quickest and easiest place to do this, in my opinion, is GoDaddy.com. I've been using them for years now, and I love their free service and customer service 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. They're really easy to use. Your second step is setting up hosting. All hosting is is a place on another computer where your website is viewable by people 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And it's always live for people to see. You can have free hosting and even build a quick website with a free template if you don't know anything about building websites. A couple of great sources for this are blogger.com which is owned by Google or one of the other top free blog sites like posterist.com or wordpress.org. All of which have free hosting and a huge set of resources for website design templates that are literally point and click technologies you can set up in minutes with no technical education required. They usually have a guided tour uh, you know to walk you through every step of the process until your blog style website is live. Now you can go with a paid version of hosting at godaddy.com for about 50 bucks a year or you can go to a place I found that's online that's free, it's got free hosting called 000webhost.com and set up a free account with them. But you will have to design your own website so use a template. So if you know nothing about building web pages stick to the free templates at first. The third thing you must absolutely have is an email address. That way, people have a way to contact you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, when it's 2 a.m. in the morning and they know your business isn't open at that time of day. People do research on what they're going to buy at all kinds of odd times. It's very important to give people as many ways to contact you as they can. If not, they won't and that's not good for your business. The fourth thing you must have as a website owner is a way to collect email addresses. That's right, to collect leads. Not everybody is ready to buy from you when they first meet you. And asking for a sale the second somebody comes in contact with you is like asking for a kiss before you're even going on the first date. It might work every once in a while, but not very often. It's usually short-lived and not a real meaningful, lasting relationship. The key to internet marketing isn't to sell stuff right from your web page, but to build a list of people interested in your products and services. Then follow up with them, starting a relationship that isn't solely based on a financial transaction. And build on that relationship until they know, like, and trust you. Then you can ask for the sale when the time is right, like getting the first kiss. The way that I accomplish this is by using an autoresponder service. I've included the autoresponder service that I use on this page. It costs $1 for the first month and only 19 bucks a month after that. And pretty much every major internet marketing guru uses the same exact company and for good reason. Their service is easy and it's cheap. But you know what? It's the lifeblood of my business and the businesses that my clients ask me to set up for them. And here's how this works. If all you do is ask for the sale or ask that people contact you on your websites, they will be reluctant to contact you or buy from you and leave your website if they don't know if you're the right service or product for them. And you might get one or two people out of every hundred visitors to call or email you, but usually you'll get tire kickers. People who only want to know the price and if you can lower it for them. And if you can't lower your price, they'll go elsewhere and you'll never hear from them again. But if all you ask for is their contact information, you know, just their name and email address like I did when you signed up to my site, you'll get anywhere from 8 to 30% of your website visitors to sign up for more valuable advice and information about making a better decision when buying whatever it is that you sell. That's a whopping 8 to 30 people from every 100 visitors instead of 1 to 2. That didn't say no and go elsewhere. They said yes. Meaning, they didn't say no and go away, never to be seen again. They said, hey, I'm interested in what you sell, and if you can send me more information to help me make a better buying decision, I might buy from you. And if you make me feel comfortable with your business, I definitely will. And 
Then you have the opportunity to follow up with them over and over again until they buy or die or unsubscribe from your list. And as your list grows and your relationship grows with those people over time, you'll have bigger and bigger paydays the better your relationship is with them and the list size gets. If you've ever heard the saying, the money is in your list, the money isn't in the size of your list, but more importantly, the relationship that you have with your list. Think of your list as a really pretty woman and you are an ugly, fat, bald, poor guy. Sorry if that describes some of you. And the only way to keep that beautiful woman interested in you is to treat her right. If you treat your list really well or give them money <laughs> or at least information that can make them money, you'll stand a chance at keeping your list eating out of your hands. I'll get into much deeper details with you on how to build a relationship with your list in video number three, but for now, you're just going to have to trust me when I say that no matter what you sell, products or services, locally or nationally, you need to start building a list of names and email addresses if you want to grow your online business. I hope I'm not insulting anyone's intelligence for saying this, but the fifth and final thing you must have in order to make money online with your business is online credit card processing. I know it sounds like a no-brainer. There's a handful of places to do this. I've listed three places that you can get started right now with credit card processing. I usually use PayPal or Google Checkout on my websites. You can use anyone you like, but those are the free ones to get started with, and I like the word free. How about you? Plus, PayPal and Google Checkout take out the same fees as most other credit card processors and they don't charge you a monthly fee like everyone else and you don't pay anything unless you get orders. Once you have a live website in place and a place to host it, an email account, an email follow-up system in place and credit card processing in place, you're ahead of more than 95% of all businesses in the world. Next in video number two, I'll go over how to get some people to your website. So let's send traffic and get the ball rolling. Remember, the links to the things I just recommended are below this video. See you on the next video. This is Elvis Karen. Have a profitable day. I know some of you will.